the fun part of molding fiberglass. I think this is ready to pull. It's set overnight. See what kind of result we got. Only concern is if I overran the contact paper. There, the fiberglass just released from the contact paper. And there we have the curved top hatch, back top hatch. Interesting. I marked the corners while it was still in the mold. I could see the lines through the fiberglass to maintain this alignment here. And I cut the outside out, radius the corners. And then we will be molding the rest of the back top section. It's amazing how fiberglass you're molding it how everything, every, I mean everything that's in the mold shows up. It came out pretty nice. So this setup here, top holes was a screw up. I didn't put it in low enough to engage the plexiglass inside here, but these screws, which are drilled and countersunk with clearance holes in here, so it gives me the ability to adjust these sides all along here in order to establish that curve. So I needed it to be straight this way, which I've checked with the straight edge here, sides, metal. I've aligned it with lines along the sides that I scribed on there with a pencil. And I cut this as parallel as I possibly could because I could lay it out and cut it. Did a bit of filing on the edges and eyeballing down them. But then ultimately, these shims in here, they have four points of adjustment. And those shims, there was a couple places where it was pulling either too much curve or not enough curve. So then I'll mold these corners, which have the pockets for the fins already made for me. I'll put these in the corners here. I do the top hatch or the top lid. I do this top section back in here and fiberglass it all in. Cut the lid out, the sides, radius the corners, put it back on here, cover that with saran wrap, and I can put extra strips of fiberglass around the lip, make it thicker, and glass these in. These lines here, I'll have to go past these lines so I can cut it to the length that I need. So there's my setup for the lid right inside the mold that I made the tub, which also gives me the width that I need. 